I feel really guilty because we have ostensibly cheated. Well, what have we here? Back in one piece? I sure never expected to see you outside of a quiche again. That rhymes, Bonehead. Well done, and I guess I had to get more corn for the hut, I guess. Well, whatever. Okay, well, I guess this is a good time as any to head back into town, and we will, first of all, find this gnome so we know what the heck we're doing so we could sort of retroactively give ourselves this quest, because I'm not going to do it until we have a damn good reason for it, and uh, we can also... Drop off the groo goo to Doctor Who flu manu shimbu. I it's been a long day. I'm a little slap happy. Don't mind me. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah. Wait a second. I can go back and visit the uh, gypsies, which I thought was up here. That'll be a good way to kill the night, I think. And I don't think there's any time limit for me to get this pie to uh, old Baba Yaga. Phew. A gruesome, horribly slathering... Oh, that's one of the downsides of sneaking around everywhere, because you do build up your sneak points, but you never get any cool, uh, battles. You know what? I'm doing pretty good on health and stuff. How do I go back to just walking? There we go. Let's just go back to regular old walking, and let's, uh, find a couple battles to get into. There we go. There's one of those Necrotors. I think we can take them. Go on, sneaky feet. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, all my daggers in your face, singing the Sneaky Feet song. No, what is this magic stuff? Magic used down. Get in there. Special attack up. Get in there. Fight like a man! Okay, you're not doing too well. Where's your special attack? Use that. Aggressive down. Special attack up. Boom. Alright, that seems to be a little bit better. Where's the buzzsaw? Well, whatever. At least it was a fun, honest fight. Not too bad. I don't think as a thief you get points or anything for... Searching for the fallen beast, you Damn, find... Damn, have anything. Uh, I don't think you get anything for killing monsters, but... Meh. Tevs. At least we got a chance to do it. But now my stamina is pretty low, so let's, uh... Let's go back into sneaky mode. That battle did not go as well as I was hoping. All right, where are the gypsies? Gypsies, gypsies. I remember them being like in the very high, like northeastish area. There it is. Now we should be friendly with him because I saved his life. And no. Hello. You tell the wolves to stay calm. They don't seem particularly less agitated. All right, I guess I should just come back during the. Day? I guess everyone's already a wolf tonight. Uh, saving. What if I never just wander on in? One of the wolves snarls menacingly. You get the distinct impression that you're not welcome here. Well, can I get killed by these wolves? Attack! Touch this wolf and you're likely to become shorthanded. Well. Whatever. Oh, there's a little one hiding over here. Hi, little wolfie. I didn't even see you. All right. I thought that once we freed the gypsy, like, all of a sudden we'd be friend to gypsies. Because I said, hey, we're going to rescue you. Isn't that great? And he's like, huh. Well, prove it. And then I saved him. I should be friend to all... Well, whatever. I'll come back during the daytime. Because I think that... Is that a spoiler that all the gypsies are actually werewolves? Well, whatever. They are... And I'm pretty sure that's them, so I'll just come back when they're in normal human form. Let's get back to town, let's grab a couple of Zs, and maybe we can talk to the Domovoy. Oh, wait, don't we still have to get that rehydration solution from the doctor, too? I was just thinking about the Domovoy. Oh, not a Chernobyl wizard. Nope, I am in no mood to battle you, so I'll feed a sane, baby. Later! Too bad that you can only float very slowly, and I can jog quite briskly. Oh, Katrina's not here. Lame. Well, let's grab some more corn. Never know we need some more corn. And hop on over the fence. Boop. You did. You are. Yeah, I know. I'm exhausted. Well, barring anything we do this late at night anyway, because let's go ahead and give ourselves some purposeful nightmares, and let's see what's going on in Bubble World. Uh, hello, orbs. 
come to film me with hellish you nightmares. The very source of all you magic. know what's going to happen. Don't get happy. You are filled with power and the knowledge of how to use Which it. Which will soon be ripped away. You create flowers dancing around you. Really? Trees fill their branches with magical fruit as you touch them. You dance in a circle and the very ground... Itself. I have this image of him like frolicking around in like this pure white tunic and his you hair flying in the breeze, around. skipping around, touching every plant he sees. La, 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 la. Seems a very unsneaky feat, then but hey, it's his dream. It is not you doing this. It was someone else back in time. Some other sneaky feat? At Wait. Oh, is it a nightmare because it wasn't him frolicking? You hear that voice calling you again. Hello? Darkness surrounds you. Eats at you. Not good, darkness. The voice calls out again, and you are afraid. It calls from the center of the darkness, drawing you nearer and nearer. How can just a mass of darkness have a the center? darkness sucks at you, pulling you towards the voice as it flays all warmth and life from you. You scream! Take my word for it, you really do! You gradually wake, shaking off the shreds of dreams that- Okay, okay. So, from what I remember, and I think it was mentioned in the last dream, you're actually seeing the spirit of Arana. This is her staff, and we'll have- Why did I just lose stamina? I just woke up for crying out loud. Just standing up is hard for me. So, Irana is basically trapped in the netherworld for reasons we'll find out later, and I think we can rescue- you her at this point? I don't know. Anyway, let's check another on the doctor. Da, 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 da. Is it sad that I remember the tunes? I should make that my ringtone. Alright, Doc. Lock. Oh, look who's made progress. I have made substantial progress at my Frankie since your last visit. I got them to stand up. If recalibrated, I was able to focus the initial stimulation and have achieved the first traces of independent muscular coordination. See for yourself. That's a long way of saying bad touch. Oh, look at that, he's waving. It is not often that ordinary people such as yourself have the opportunity to witness true genius. I expect that you are feeling especially honored just now. Mostly hungry. Uh, oh, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was still his hand sticking out. Hi, how you doing there? Can I talk to it him? Doesn't say much. All right. Well, hello. You say hello to the scientist. Hello. You have made it is canon. Scientific discovery since your last visit. Well, share. Uh, whatever. Let's give him the grew grew goo 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 goo. That is terrific! This is just what I need for my experiments. As I promised. Oh, I got it already. Your rehydration solution. Okay. And the rehydration solution is part of one of the more a puzzle I never quite understood. But maybe you guys can make better sense out of it. Was there something else I needed from him? Or I guess that was everything. What's the mess? M-E-S. M-E-S-S! -S. The M-E-S-S -S is my patented magnetical electrical stimulation system. Oh, it's the lightning it, machine. I am able to re-establish neuron paths through formerly dead tissue. It also can be a good companion on those lonely Friday nights in the lab. What is that implying? Wait, wait, uh, okay. While he's asleep, we can talk about him. Does that mean that he will dig up a cadaver and use this thing on him so it moves around and... He just kind of cuddles with it and flops around, or does he use it on himself to make certain things rot? I don't want to think about it anymore. Frankie! I named Frankie after one of my colleagues who did some uh, preliminary research into tissue reanimation. My success in this experiment will make me one of the premier researchers at this year's scientific ball. I wonder where they have the scientific ball anyway. Well, that's really all I need. Bye. You say goodbye. No, I don't say goodbye. Remember to Bye. Use the of yeah, observation. Okay, I've observed some things about you today, Doctor Cranium. Looking forward to the successful completion of my Frankie experiment. My first attempt was a bush I dug up in the forest garden. The operation was a great success. Unfortunately, uh. the patient died. I hope to correct that uh, minor difficulty in my new experiment. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. So it was Dr. Cranium who dug up that little bush in the garden that I had to rescue? First of all, A, what kind of experiment would you do as a botanist to dig up a plant? So you dig it up, it shrivels and dies, and so you walk all the way over to the Grugu, which I had to go to to pick you up a, a flask of the stuff, where you could have gone any time, or while you were there, and then you throw it into a puddle. You're the worst scientist ever. You're just... Scientists do no harm. Or is that doctors? The werewolf threat has ended. Since you have found and oh. rescued Igor, I have released our gypsy prisoner. It seems it was not a werewolf that peasant feet were for nothing. Kind of is. But hey, he didn't eat Igor. And that's wonderful. Let's see how things are going in town with the Burgermeister. Hello! You say hello to the Burgermeister. You are a very polite person. Perhaps I should learn some manners from you for dealing with strangers. Wow! Burgermeister... Dimitri, you have no idea what that means to me. You, not only did he make a full circle of hating me when I got here, being xenophobic and awful, and now he's like, not only do I like you, but I think I'm going to take a lesson from you and learn how to treat strangers better. Dimitri, my man, how you doing? How the town? Toads folk. The people of this town will settle down again. They cried so loudly for blood because blood. they were living so long in the shadow of fear. I feel like I can have, like, an honest conversation with the dude now. Gypsy! The gypsy has no doubt returned home to his people. They have an encampment to the east. Hmm. Well, anything else go- uh, Gypsy! Or uh, no, I thought about gypsy rumors! There is a rumor that perhaps I was mistaken Aww. trying to drive you away from Mordor. Dimitri! That perhaps you are the hero you claim to be. But you know how rumors are. You cannot open. I I didn't even cut that one off. The game did that one. Hey, you can tell he likes me now. How you doing? He's looking into my soul. Bye. Uh oh. Well, since he's known me for being polite, let's teach him some more good manners and say goodbye. Take care. Aww, I feel so. It makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. Okay. Step one. Let me go take a quick... Oh, sh shit. Did I? No. Igor, very glad not to still be in grave. You Igor's friend now. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love Igor so much. Okay, okay. How... I think I just... I can enter the monastery. I need to check something out in the monastery real quick. Yeah, Igor, you flail at me every time I do this. I'll be fine, buddy. I appreciate your concern, but I'm going to save anyway, because now you've freaked me out a little bit. Okay, here we go. As you touch the... You push the... There we go. Okay. So, here's... Here's my concern, besides the overly loud music. Uh, we've done everything, basically, that we need to do. We've gotten the raven, blackbird, whatever thing... Legit. I wonder if I can actually climb up this wall now, if I'm good enough. The relief. You can't be careful. The be No, whatever. Be uh, so we already did everything down there. That's fine. You can't do anything with this, but you sort of... I miss this sort of shapeless mass of what appears to be excrement sitting over here. Let's go check this out. This amazingly lifelike sculpture looks like a cross between a baby troll oh. and a hermit or dervish. It fits the description of a domovoi, except that it's totally dried out and unmoving. Okay, so here's here's my conundrum. This is why we have the rehydration solution, is to fix this dried out husk of a domovoi. My question is, are there more than one domovoi around? Because we met the one in the inn, and it mentioned nothing about his dried out friend. I'm going to help him anyway, because that's what heroes do. So is this like the Domovoy's actual body and his spirit just appears at the inn? Or are there two Domovoy's? I don't know, but whatever. A hero got to do what a hero's got to do. All right, here we go. Rehydrate, baby. Oh, I pick him up and... Very wet, B.I. Very wet and very alive. Welcome back, buddy. Glad am I to be alive. 
happy thanks I give you. Careful you should be here. Dangerous berry it is. Feed the guard or destroy it to find the secret passage down. I now he's gone. So I don't know. Maybe we'll talk to the original, the other Domovoi that we know in the inn and see if that does anything. But as far as I know, we are absolutely done with this monastery. Let me just double check. Because what we can do is we can earn some major hero points and just get rid of this evil place forever. This dark book, this awful statue, this cask of wonderful, wonderful hallucinogenic wine. The writing desk, I think we learned everything we need to, so... You know what? Let's torch this place. This place is evil and should not be here anymore. So... I'm going to save, just in case I really screw myself. pre nation And alright, let's do it. This place is going down. The ancient book catches fire instantly and burns far brighter than you would have imagined. You hightail it out of the monastery basement. I would expect a little bit more excitement out of that statement. And wow, these bricks burn well. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the- <laughs> If Eager get big hero job, can he be pyromaniac too? Yes you can. It's one of the perks of the job, baby. It looks pretty much as you'd expect. Oh, just like a flaming evil monastery. No big whoop. I'm pretty sure we get major points for this. Let's go and then come back and it should be burned to a complete husk. Well, that's kind of a husk. The monastery is toast. Why is that even here, anyway? You can't do anything with the monastery now that it's burned. So let's really hope that that's all we had to do with it. All right. I think the Burgermeister has something to say about the the monastery being burned as well. So let's check in with him and let him tell him what we've done. Nikolai, the old man, is dead. Uh oh. He wandered out of town yesterday, and I only found his tattered day. remains. He will be missed. Oh. I can hear a little bit of tenderness in his voice. It's like, he left yesterday, and he's gone. I guess he really does love. The Burgermeister knows how to love. Uh, oh, I can tell him about Anna's ghost and the fact that he's, like, not, he is dead, but he's happier. So she has been looking for Nikolai all this time, just as he was looking for her. I guess they must truly love one another. I hope they will be happy in the afterlife. I hope so, too. That was so nice. All right, let's tell him about the monastery. Uh, doesn't have anything to say about that. I guess there's only like one event per visit. Goodbye, and try not to run into any more ghosts, please. Interestingly enough that he mentions that because if you play this game as a paladin, you do run into another ghost, but it's his grandfather. More on that later. What now? Oh, hey, well, yeah, all right, thanks. Alright, so I guess he doesn't care that the monastery has been burned. Well, whatever. Alright, sorry to bother you. I thought you had something more interesting to say, and I was wrong. Alright, let's head to the inn and get something to eat. And then we can head out on an adventure. Maybe go visit the gypsies. Pay the innkeeper. Thank you for your payment. Oh, okay, the rent was due. Well, let's grab a seat. What's for dinner today? It's sausage and peppers fried with garlic. Sounds simple enough and delicious. Let's see if I can finally talk to this guy about his his daughter that we know. Ah, so you are back. Yeah, I've been here already. How you doing? You've been feeding me and housing me for the last three weeks. Uh, innkeepers, rumors. Let's see how the innkeepers do. Innkeeper, how you doing, buddy? I am well. Bullshit. I d All right, he's not giving me anything. All right, well, we have to return here at night anyway, so we can meet the gnome, so we know what the heck we're doing with this whole Baba Yaga thing. I don't think I need anything else with Olga. Well, let's check in with her. It feels like it's been forever since we talked. Olga, how you doing, babe? There you are. I suppose you heard that the gypsy didn't kill Igor after all. Dimitri has set the gypsy free. No good will come of it. You mark my words. The man was clearly a werewolf. He is. He, just, all, not all werewolves are evil. Let go of your preconceived notions. Uh, tell about my equipment. Well, let's say hi. 
So, you haven't been eaten yet. Nope. Just fine. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get out of the menu. All right, what can we talk about? Oh, we all have it. How have things? Boris had things. Had sex. Sex. Boris came back to visit me. We had a lot to talk about. He says he'll come back again after work. It was nice to see him. <laughs> Seemed like old times. Okay. <laughs> I love it when their faces freeze. I love it. Hey, everybody. Hey, if you want to see more, if you like it, please. Click this little subscribe button up there. If you'd like to watch a little bit more Quest for Glory stuff, click little plushy sneaky feet. And if you want to watch some King's Quest stuff, which I know you do, click plushy Cedric. Everyone loves Cedric. 